Hello, and welcome to Cyberpunk is Dead, our little actual play of Cyberpunk is Dead, uh, a game about corporate goons in a very dystopian world uh, of the far future. Nothing to do with real life, that one. Um, I'm Petri, I will be the corporate today. I will be the game master, so to see, so to speak. I'm a Finnish a game designer and all-around RPG nerd. And yeah, I hope this will be a nice game today with nothing bad happening to anyone. Go ahead. I'm Andreas. I'm also a RPG nerd. Also, we are nerd. Uh, in the past, I work with Roll20, so also in the RPG directions, done things. I'm hoping for things to go down, either good or bad. So go out big is what I hope for. Hi, I'm Anina Kaski. I'm a London-based actor and writer uh, and TTRPG player enthusiast however you want to call it. Uh, as well as this, I'm also a, a cast member on Body Quest, a D&D 5e actual play, so check that out as well. Hey, how's it going? My name's Christopher Stratton-Smith, also Finnish. I design slash write tabletop RPG products, and you can find me on Twitter at C Stratton Smith. And today I'm playing Nova 20, also known as Cobra Desai. Wonderful. So, uh, the last we saw these wonderful corporate agents were at an expo happening on the waterfront of a Dawn City, a line in the middle of a desert running from the sea to deep inland. Um, the reason they were there was to check out a possible lead on a threat to their uh, employer, uh, Mr. Mikhail Starr, and they managed to find out that Mikhail probably is not who he claims to be, but possibly a person called Lauri Starr, uh, an old guard of the corporate corporation that they are working for. Um, one thing, one, one small detail of bookkeeping that I forgot at the end of last session was to move the clock that the player characters have on their internal investigations two points forward for the great success they had. So I'm doing that now and the clocks as they are stand as follow. Uh, Bad things are happening. Two steps. Uh, it's it's a it's a six step step clock, and it's two steps away from actualizing. And the two other clocks are figuring out the internal threat and figuring out the in, uh, the external threat. Are eight step clocks that are both uh, one step away from being full. Uh, it's a hot day. It's a very nice day. Uh, probably even nicer from the perspective of Bravo, since you have augmented eyes, uh, the virtual overlay that, that has been projected over today is affecting you a lot more than the others. The others just see a very nice day. You, uh, well, for you, the weather seems perfect. In actuality, the weather is not that great and, and there is a lot of smog in the air, but you are not paying attention to that because you're seeing a nice sunny day through the wire that changes the way you see things. Um, you are currently outside the expo site uh, here at the waterfront, the buildings are 
plasticky and shiny and white and the two walls that surround Dawn City uh, make this look like, well, a waterfront property, no matter where you look, it's like it's made to project a very beautiful image, although down below there is the harbor that is just purely industrial area. But here in the upper echelons, you, uh, echelons, you are viewing a sort of a paradise vista. There's palm trees and, and sounds of animals, although there are no animals here. Uh, so, uh, there's a few routes that you could be pursuing. The big question is, do you do you want to look further into the internal threat? There is some sort of a, an attack happening here at the Expo. It might not be connected to Mikhail, but it might gain some goodwill for the corporation if you look into it. Or do you want to look into the... Uh, other issue, which is someone wanted to steal Mikhail's spine a few episodes back. How, how much time until the attack where we are now? I'd say... Well, to be blunt, it it is happening today, but the exact time is you you have you have time to do something else than just wait around if you want to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just because I I want to give you that narrative narrative <laughs> like possibility to do something. Got you. Yeah. Got you. Um, Did we? Yeah. Did we ever check with corporate if this supposed assassination of Kirves was like? sanctioned by uh, some other team or something just like or did we ask anyone like in in case it's actually interfering with something else because he, he's a former guy not active on our payroll so it's technically not necessary a thing we should need to pay attention on uh, just yeah uh, no, you didn't check if it was uh, like some other team. It like most likely uh, it is orchestrated by Claire because the, the like thing that is happening at the same time as the assassination, well, assassination is happening is is orchestrated by Claire. Oh yeah, the hacking. Honeypot yeah. or something. Huh. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, speaking speaking of of like cor corporate people, and so what does Bravo look like in in yeah. Bravo typical, typical corporate uh, expo gear? <laughs> uh, Bravo uh, has a black oily uh, hair, black slick. And he has, uh, as he's uh, in uh, in in better 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 gear, he has uh, uh, somewhat chrome plated uh, and designs on on both his ear and eye modules. So it's it's clearly he has uh, cybernetic eyes and ears, and 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 that that's mostly it. Yep. Yeah. yeah, this is this is pickle. Um, well, you you have leads. You have possible three. Well, three possible directions, and and then anything that comes to mind. But the three things that are happening is that there's an attack coming. There is the vault that needs to be broken into. That's actually mm -hmm. something that Requiem you have a contract for. So it's it's something that you should yeah. do. And then there is this Lynx gang that has something to do with um, like people wanting to steal Mikhail's spine. Okay. 
Requiem's uh, is, are they both with me or just, um, or just Nova with me? Both, both are with oh, you at the okay. moment. You're 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 That's currently awesome. like outside the expo expo site mm. after you you've been you 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 paid a visit to Mister Kirves. Yes. Okay. Requiem's gonna say to the other two. I'll I'll hack into the vault and see what happens. You think the vault would be our biggest priority? I'm not saying it's a it's a bad idea, but um. What about our current employer? I'm kind of worried because, well, he's our our, uh, our meal ticket essentially, and someone wants to take his spine. So, is he True. our priority in a, in a sense? Yeah, that's a good one. I mean, if we can multitask and we can yeah, kill two yeah. birds, I, I think so it was like uh, several days ago, or maybe you know, a week since we last looked into the spine thing. Like all the other yeah. things came up. So we kind of that could sign like yeah. a good. I mean, good obviously one. these other things are more pressing time wise, but mm. um, I wouldn't forget the <laughs> the threat to Mr. Sar's life either. Yeah. Uh, just to recap on on people uh, Requiem, uh, who is our hacker. Uh, first of all, you can totally do it multitasking while while mm. you're you're driving because this particular vault is in the public public web it's not something you yeah. have to physically hack into so it's it's a weird weird little construct somewhere in the in the bowels of the like the space you use to communicate instead of of like an actual actual physical place where you you'd have to plug into uh what does requiem look like our hacker um requiem is um, she looks quite small and frail. She's petite, um, average height. She's got blue green hair, and if you look closely, you can just about tell that maybe she was blonde before it. You can't really tell how old she is. Somewhere between twenty and forty, and she wears sort of this kind of makeup. But yeah, she she's quite. Um, she doesn't stand with confidence. Let's let's <laughs> put it that way. <laughs> Yeah, and and while we're doing introductions, what does Nova look like, our last member? Right, so Nova is a, a tall man in his late twenties, early thirties, kind of that that uh, vibe is giving off. Um, he is athletic in build, but more toned than than externally, very, very visibly muscular. Um, currently, he's wearing kind of just approaching business casual clothing. It's kind of a very neat uh, leather jacket, which could kind of almost go go as a as a blazer. Kind of trying to fit in into the whole expo thing. There might be some ballistic weave in that jacket and so on, but uh, it's looking very much like he's just there as a guest. Yeah. So, um, the leads that you have for this spine thing is, well, there, there are very, very few. You have um, a Mr. Feet, who you've spoken to, but you've spoken to him about uh, other things than this particular. The last thing that he said was that he has no idea. Well, he didn't say as much as give it away that he had no idea who Mikhail Starr is. Uh, although his name was very clearly uh, pinpointed in the previous attempt on, on Mikhail's spine. Uh, and, and he has dealings with the Lynxes. Uh, and then there is the fact that the Lynxes are looking for a main line to the uh, net infrastructure in the area of the crack, which is a sort of a um, not slum, but all not not fully built part of the city, where there is this large crack in the wall uh, that that serves as a cultural. Uh, center of sorts of the area but there there should be some um, main line 
of the net there that the lengths are looking for. Those are the two like main leads that you have for this at the moment. Have there been any uh, changes in prices on in immunosuppressants and that in, in recent times? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking uh, Dr. Stilai, who, who, who uh, was running a, a thing like from a while back. Yeah. Probably doesn't relate to this, but uh, those immunosuppressants she ha- she were crafting and doing were are used in all all cybernetics and stuff. Yep. As well as uh, spine spine things. Uh, have there been any moves in prices or or yeah, um, on the public or corporate side or or anything? I think spine, there has spine been spine related news. <laughs> um not not so much spine related about uh spine juice. The, yeah the uh, immunosuppressants there's been a increase in supply or in increase in need of those since you disrupted uh steel eyes uh operation so uh, that has had an effect uh but Did it improve uh, or or make it worse from corp from for cor- corporate uh, it, it's yeah for for corporate side it was a definite bonus because uh, that was a non profit in in the slums right. yeah. so yeah, yeah. okay now now people have to pay for their immunosuppressants or biosuppressants or whatever they were called right. Yeah. Nothing major in, in that direction. I kind of feel bad about uh, the links and the mainframe th- thing uh, because kind of when I got when I got asked when I was asking too many questions, I got to talk with one of their. I mean, I, I guess it was bo- some boss or sub boss or yeah. something. They kind of wanted me to look into it, the mainframe thing, and now it's kind of like, um, could there be a good good chance for like kind of uh, leaking the location of of this? Like, I, I could find out if, through the Scrappers Guild if I actually want, but I haven't looked up because I want the fake ignorance to them but if we'd figure out where this place is and also kind of leak this to say the i guess it's the line cities cops or whatever so it's like both get there and then they're occupying each other or or whatever that could be a Practical distraction from our, our perspective, or does it sound like a too hot shot of a idea? Yeah. Well, I'm not one to shy away from a bit of action, as you no, know, or at least Requiem especially knows if you remember the car incident. Oh, I remember the car incident very well um i i think it's worth a shot agreed yeah so what's the plan just the broad strokes and and then we'll roll something and see what happens and bravo um bravo is going to get in co- Get in contact with uh, family members and acquaintances who works in the Scrappers Guild to learn about the location of 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 entry points to the um, to the main line. Main line, 
and then uh, send over the information to the Lynxes, and then someone else on the team just anonymously tips off the cops about uh, about exposed line or or something, and then hopefully. Hopefully they'll arrive there more or less at the same time and distract each other. Yeah, and be less of a threat to us. Uh, sure. Um, you don't have to roll for figuring out where where the main line is. That's something that uh, you know people who know people. You just have to make a few calls. That's like that's mm-hmm. that's not a possibility of failure um it's probably your like a cousin from your mother's side um Mm -hmm. who is is the one that is is the person who knows about this uh maybe your third call that you make uh the first Mm -hmm. one is a dud and then the second one is hey you 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 should probably call brick and brick is the one who is answering so uh, there's a short pause before he answers the phone brick is uh well the name kind of suits him because he has very bad skin and very like angular features he's not built like a brick he's not huge or anything but like the facial features are uh, cratery and uh, angular he appears in in your view in the call ah, hello hi hi how are you how are you Hi, Briggs. How are you doing? Uh, it's been a while. It's, it's been a while. It's been too long. It's been too long. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, oh, where were we even at the, at the barbecue we had a few weeks back? It was it was quite a quite a thing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I missed that one. I've, I've been working oh, so yeah, hard. Was... Uh, I got a job. Uh, well, uh, it's over now, but I, I, I had a well building gig. Oh yeah, that. Oh man, but yeah. But like, I, I think it's been, I think it's been a month or so since we last saw. And uh, mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, 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 we technically, yeah, we, we technically live under the same roof, so we should see more often. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. You. Yeah. You, you work different shifts. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. That's, that's ah, the hey, funny so uh, I'm I'm on a break, so I don't have a lot of time. What's up? Yeah, like I heard from 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 Ower that you, you you knew something about the line. Oh, the, the main there line. Is the, the, the deep the deep one, the ones that goes. Isn't that like is, yeah, is the, the main, rumors the main true? One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're true. I uh, yeah down there. Yeah, uh, what you want to know about it? Uh, it's not like you're really into the net stuff. Uh, I mean, I, I have friends who are kind of e- interested and we were kind of like, that's one of those urban legends to like go, go, go spotting. Kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's not an urban legend, although I wouldn't go, go spotting there right now. It's been crawling, crawling with gangers lately. Ooh, gangers! What well, what gangers? Is it the links or? I, I don't know. I ju- I just heard that. Like I got a warning that you you shouldn't go down there. Huh. Okay. Ah. Okay. Well, I mean that that's good to know. I'll yeah. <laughs> I'll keep it in mind and think for it when things cool down. Like we we don't want to get shot just for seeing uh, uh, yeah. sightseeing spots. Yeah. yeah but but okay, hey, if, if you if you like need to go there later uh it's it's really simple to find and he sends you the instructions it's not really yeah, simple thanks. to find it's basically going into the infra- infrastructure of the city between walls climbing down between walls and and like yeah it's not an easy easy find so mm, to speak yeah but but hey if there are a lot of gangers there and that's yeah. like technically th- some things isn't that like Technically, something should talk to the uh, mention to the authorities. Um, 
And this is the uh, point oh, oh, where... Oh, yeah, where, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean uh, what was your last gig? Was it on the construction side or on the scrapping side? Or uh, which, which side were you well, this time? Now, now I'm in, in scrapping again because, like, uh-huh. <laughs> it's I, I don't have a job. But, like, I had a construction yeah. gig uh, that I, I really need to talk to you about because I've... Well, I I've, I liberated some some nice old tech that you might oh, be interested. Oh, nice! I'll, yeah, I'll actually, we, we I'll, gotta I'll, see it. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll leave you a taste in in your little hidey hole in in the wall if that's okay. If, if I can nice, go in and, and nice. place it there, okay? Yeah, nice. I'll do that. Uh, but yeah, um, on on as as a corporate the the game master. Um, if you want to do the police thing, it's going to be a role. It it might be that the role is a failure, you decide not to do it. Uh, it might be an overreaction, which, yeah, it's it's going to be an overreaction. Uh, but, uh, like, the decision to do that is basically the point where we are going to roll the dice. Yeah. <laughs> if, if, if you are planning I mean, the, the on... The place is already crawling with gangers maybe yes. the links are there already maybe it's someone else either way the correct thing is to call the cops yes and this time it actually plays into our distraction either way so that's essentially yeah let me dig up the oh uh... rules for the game just so i can be sure that i'm not doing anything yeah i'm wrong. alert yeah you're alert so that's going that's probably going to end up in an overreaction if nothing strange yeah, happens yeah that's likely and uh, what's the what's our state uh, like? your, uh, the, the situation is yeah, I see. Yeah, the situation actually here is clear because you are personally this. This isn't something that um, um, is going to like. It's it's not going to blow up in your hands if if you call the cops and yeah. Mm. Uh, so it's a clear a clear uh, situation. Uh, no, not a clear situation, but. Um, yeah, it's it's clear clear situation and you are alert so uh, unless someone wants to help you it's 3d12 and pick the highest i'd I'm help helping. but i am so mm, yeah. yeah actually yeah, i can think of you yeah. go ahead and help yeah re- re- yeah no but could you yeah. like make the call kind of for me so it's like less of a clear connection that mm. i both sending the cops and links there like so we kind of some kind of a proxy for you yeah 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 proxy proxy me a bit yeah uh, so for 4d12 and choose from the two highest Uh, eight and a nine. Those are both overreactions. Um, you can, if if you want to spend, uh, if if you have some equipment that helps, or you want to uh, add a new equipment, then you can. You can lower that by one, but I can I can say that this isn't one of those critical roles, so mm-hmm. uh, it might not be worth it. Yeah, no, no, but it's it's I'm I'm letting it go as it goes, and at the same time, I'm sending uh, the links links uh, info about this location and warn them that there are already gangers there. Yeah, um, I think since this is an overreaction, uh, you 
Well, the, the, in a clear, clear result, an overreaction means the action succeeds, but there is an infection complications, a complication that the character is overreacting. They draw on un, uh, unwanted attention, tensions rise, they antagonize some minor third parties, such as the cops. Um, I'm, I'm, and, and the situation regarding this is now standard. I'm going to say that you manage to antagonize the cops with this. You are you're sending a call that there is a, some sort of a ganger situation in, in the infrastructure and uh, this results in a firefight that gets broadcast beautifully over over the uh, like the the area of the news that people are interested in in this stuff. Um, uh, it's well the cops are expecting gangers what they get instead is almost paramilitary so it's Oops. <laughs> the, the cops aren't really happy about this and the uh, gangers are uh, alert the good thing is that the situation down there is contained so um i'm not going to give you the final tick on the clock until you like actually figure this out, but I'm going to say that whatever the bad actually I can do one better. I can yeah. take one away from the bad things happening clock. So now it's three ticks away from happening. This bought you time. Nice. Yeah, because they are kind of keeping each other in check for the time being. Yeah. Like nobody has time to tap into the mainframe in a military grade firefight yes. so yeah that was what i was aiming for so hey it's yeah it's something hey, yeah and, nice. and i may have accidentally uh, revealed that the external threat that is threatening the, the threat that is threatening michael star is the external one this is directly affecting that clock so us players know this now right by the way would my stress go up from helping yes by one by one, that's what I figured. Thank you. But yeah, there is a firefight going on out there, and time has passed. It's it's taken a couple of well, I'd, I'd say an hour and a half into our unspecified time frame. But it's it's taken some time to orchestrate this. It's just not like you you had to make some calls, talk to people, and and then convince the cops that there is something and then it took the cops some time to get there so it's it's been I, i'd say two hours since you you decided on this and now the situation is that there is a firefight going on and everything is stalled a bit <laughs> uh the expo has uh begun there is people moving moving in you you're still you you you're holed up in some back office i'd say uh just because you you have connections to this place so you can you can direct things from afar okay uh, so <laughs> uh you can spot uh your friend foxman in the crowd uh, there mm -hmm. is a like in in your wire you see a green green spot uh, in the distance of a friend appearing. Yeah. Uh, he's not due to do the attack in a couple of hours, but he's still, he's come early and, and wandering around the expo, listening to someone talk about transcendentalism in a physical sense at the moment, at, at some new age stand. Okay, has he seen me? Like, has he looked in my direction? Mm, probably not. Also, it's like... It's most likely that you are not visible to him as a friend at the moment since you're working. Uh, unless okay. you espe especially want to. No, I, I'll... I'll get back to my hacking. Because I'm at work. Yeah. Um yeah, he's he's there. Um 
it's a few hours. Uh, you can, if, if you want to do like preliminary stuff for the hacking, you can do that now. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to pursue some other route uh, first. That's I'll do the preliminary stuff now. Yeah. I'll do that now. Yeah, so um, this is the boring bit. So no, no streaming for you, probably here. Um, can I, well, for, first of all, you, you float into the uh, sort of uh, public cyberspace, the sort, sort, sort of sphere of, of web you were visiting before. Uh, mm -hmm. This vault is, well, it, it looks like an empty lot, more or less just like mm -hmm. an unused space. Uh, but uh, according to all the data, here here is something. So uh, you start digging around again. This is this is easy stuff. This isn't anything that needs like your full full like everything you got. This is uh, this is easy. You mm -hmm. you set up a few few soft like <laughs> programs running and and start excavating the vault uh which starts revealing a structure it is very like everything about it is nondescript it's meant to be like there's nothing here there's nothing here um mm -hmm. but as you slowly excavate it 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 turns into this almost like it, it starts to take shapes, probably like large part because of what what you you <laughs> impose on it. But it, it starts taking shape of a of an old cave. Uh, you you've played enough fantasy games to know what a what a tr like a cave with treasure in it looks like. So it it takes on those shapes and and uh, there is a heavy door. Or, or well, basically, it's a program. But for for a visual visual reference, it's a big door that needs to be opened, uh, and that's gonna take time. That's the like preliminary stuff that you're here to do. Uh, behind that door is probably the section where it it's interesting, and there's uh, the trap that has been set out for you and whatnot. Uh, but the door is the thing that requires time and attention and, and like mm -hmm. uh, it, it actually requires a role uh, because oh god yeah <sighs> and, and <laughs> yeah that was so stressful <laughs> uh, and, and oh. um, to be exact this situation is once again uh, it's a clear situation it's there there is no mm -hmm. clear threat of violence present this is just preliminary work but it's still something that can go wrong in in either direction <laughs> so um and and you're hurt so you are rolling with four mm -hmm. d12s well, and uh you were what what was your state Prepared from uh, last time. Yeah, you're you're prepared. That's good. So, uh, roll four. Drop the smallest and largest result. Oh, we might be witnessing Requiem's mental breakdown. <laughs> this is very possible. So the lowest and the drop drop highest. the lowest and the highest. The two middle ones is what I'm what I'm interested in. Well, that would be a one and a two. The two middle ones are one and a two. Yes, because <laughs> if you roll two ones, yeah, uh, if you roll two ones, the middle ones become a one and a two. So, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> well, this this is a clear result, which is this isn't this isn't the bad thing. Like fail, failure isn't the worst that can happen. Let's let's just say this. Um, I'm gonna give you a choice. Uh, okay. You can you can simply decide that this door is just too much for you, and you you don't want to touch it ever again. You you just fail. Mm -hmm. That's one 
or you keep on trying. Uh, but uh, either the situation is standard, there is some like traps or something there maybe in the door, or your uh -huh. state goes up to alert. <laughs> Three options. Is it worth it? I'm tempted to leave it. I really am. It's a it's an so, option. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna put it to the team. Do I give it another go or do I leave it? Because this is a possible lead to the mission. Yeah. It's it's an ancient vault and it's been like mm -hmm. it's it's not a matter of your skills, it's just that the protection yeah. there there's so much protection that it's taking too long. I think that's the that's yeah. the issue here. Okay. Yay or nay. Yeah, so it's up to the team. I I don't know. I mean it it I mean it seems like it's it was kind of a honeypot thing going, so it it I don't mm. think it's worth the risk. Like you've I mean almost almost fainted from hacking too much, so I mean let's <laughs> Let's let's keep cool. it let's yep. let's keep it for yeah. for the like. Yeah, I'm just looking. Team. Yeah, I mean, let's let's leave my. I might have to do something else. <laughs> no, yeah, no, exactly. no, I was saying something. <laughs> I, I'm just looking at sort of Requiem's body language and just like general demeanor. She's looking very stressed and like maybe <laughs> maybe um, we should just kind of like scale things back a little bit at this point. Okay, and she kind of pad. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, leave it. Yep. That's a perfectly fine solution. It's it's not putting stress on you, and and nothing mm -hmm. bad has happened. Uh, I'm that dog in the house that is on fire, and I'm going. This is fine. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> yeah. Um. So that that. As said, this is something you can do on the side, so this has been happening while everything else has been going on. Um, I have to ask you, Nova. I, I have to ask you, what what's your gut feeling, Nova? What's what's going on in your head at the moment? At the um, moment. Well, I'm just kind of I'm really worried about about uh, Requiem's state at the moment. She's, she's trying to put on a, a tough face, but I'm, I'm just kind of worried that this might push her over some kind of edge. <laughs> and also, I'm I'm still a bit conflicted about uh, uh, where this might take us. I'm I'm kind of looking for some action um, so I can get a stream going, but I'm also worried what that action might do. Sebastian and I. Yeah. Our relationship. Yeah. Uh, that sounds like um, nothing interesting happening during the time between this moment and when the attack is about to happen. Uh, yeah. Requiem. Like yeah. Like oh, I, I was going to ask about from Nova about the information on the. Didn't he get like? Didn't we copy over like info from Mister Star Spine to his? Like the fact that we got revealed like just earlier today or yesterday that Michael Star maybe is much older than we think. Is there any info on on, on this past life or or? Something else and get get us a better idea why why things are kind of weird or or something like that. Any any yeah. hints? Yeah, um, about the I spine. I mean, he probably of, hasn't had yeah. the the spine forever, so there is some cutoff point, but it might extend beyond what's the official corporate records of his him. Yeah, you you actually have Nova Nova. Uh, you don't have. Like um, you, you don't have his information from his spine, but you have the like behavioral patterns, and and like you can mimic him. 
and um, give me a roll. This is just the fortune roll of of you or like <laughs> you you and your spine. This isn't something that is risky in any way. Just three D three D twelve, and you were in prepared. So middle one. All right. And that's a six. That's a six. Well, it's it's close enough. It's a I'd I'd say this where where is my fortune roll? Why is yeah, it uh, it's it's in the beginning. Success, but yeah, where is why 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 why? But yeah. Ah, there, there we go. It's a failure, partial success, or success with a cost. I'd say this is a partial success that uh, you try to try to like poke around in your own spine uh, regarding the uh, like this this pattern of of like who is this person, and you basically find that the pattern you are copying is is a store bought one you are not copying Mikhail star you're you're copying you, he's copying this like this is not he but like just a, just a storefront pattern that he's using yeah i mean i i can see that it's got the same Source as a commercially available uh, pattern and gait and and uh, posture. Um, the one that I have seems to be the same one that Michael Starr has. So it's not his bespoke one or any kind of one that he was born with. It's it's something that he has purchased that's available just for anyone huh. or anyone with the cash. Is so this is what he had been using like. For a super long time. Yep, yeah. and and uh, speaking of super long time, uh, RecuM and Nova, you have information about what the spine like model is because you you spoke about it and and heard about it in in like when it was being stolen uh, because it's the same like it's the same model as Nova's. Uh, so mm-hmm. it's actually quite an old one. Uh, no, Nova doesn't have a like. It's a good one, but an old one. It's it's a model that hasn't been like commercially available for a long time. So probably mm-hmm. Mikhail's uh, spine dates back more than the 15 years that he's been around. Why would someone want an old spine? I mean, is, doesn't that just mean he's have used it for forever? Yep. I mean, Nova, I guess you didn't get yours until somewhere fairly recent. Yeah, but I mean, it's uh, mine. Second hand or something. Yeah, mine isn't on the market anymore. It's a it's a discontinued product. But I don't know. Maybe would would Mister Star require that for some kind of jailbreaking? Is he trying to? Um, is it an older model that isn't accessible by current spyware or something? Is there some kind of incompatibility that he's exploiting? I mean, one thing to one reason to use older models would be to make it make things more safe from a like interconnected perspective. Like, I mean, I have my I have my analog uh, antique watch that will work even if like everything goes down. Not that it will help me at all, but because it's old, it's not compatible with nobody can hack my useless watch but it's look cool uh okay yeah this was sidetrack but anyway <laughs> kind of in the same line you know you get what i mean yeah potentially uh does anyone want to look into this further yeah i mean if everyone's got their own thing yeah. i can go for yeah, the spine that's, I, that's what i ask i yeah. guess 
didn't I ask about yep. this? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got the discussion going. <laughs> yeah, just just like who is doing it, so it's it's Nova. Um, what route do you take it? Like, where where do you go asking? Oh, um, so I'm trying to remember. Did I get this from an actual uh, representative of? The, the company that produced the spine or is mine second hand i don't think we've we've really specced it but i'd say that mm. it's a second hand one it's uh or okay. or more like um at least it wasn't a hand me down <laughs> no 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 mm. hand, hand me down one one thing that is like without a role the, these things can't be handed down it's useless if it's taken oh. like it's it, it has to be completely scrapped if it changes owners. It's not you. Okay. You can't just take someone's spine and, and use it. Uh, so maybe it's like a, a store model or refurbished or something like yeah, that. Yeah, some, some that hasn't been yeah. inserted. But you said that it's useless if it's or it it can't be reused if it's taken from someone else. Yeah, it you you can't. So put if it, Michael yeah. Michael Starr's uh, spine gets stolen. The main thing is they'll use it for the information or mm. whatever, but it can't be yeah in someone else yeah insert in exactly. someone else it, uh, and huh. and like um how how should I explain this um I'd say that nova's spine the reason that it's so good is because it's an older model like uh, it's it's an excellent spine, but it was like getting getting the best possible spine that's like 10 years old type of thing so you you have a very good spine but it's not a not a recent model it has features that uh most uh, like current models store bought sort sort of bulk bulk models don't have um uh, yeah so is it so old that it you don't have to pay any subscription things for it yeah like is it from the before subscription uh, there's apocalypse? some subscription type of stuff uh mostly to do with with like the energy consumption stuff but not ah. not like there's no software running running that is or or no updates coming yeah. because it's old yeah <laughs> yeah no 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 none so of it's, that it's lower maintenance because also yeah, because I was, it's old in I was some cells. Wondering if it's also a security risk if it if there are no updates coming, but perhaps that's a separate thing. Most likely it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you don't really want to worry about that. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um as a really quick sidestep to security and and like um I've briefly mentioned it before, but um Wireless communication is the only thing that is really safe in the wireless net uh, because the net is full of AIs and a lot of the AIs are there to keep these communications safe. Uh, if you go like around them and, and to the parts unknown or try to hack something, then these like actual AGIs, like real AIs that, that are there are going to like, okay, we don't protect that. And the other AIs are going to be doing bad things to you. So it's a, it's a risk to start doing anything with the wireless stuff. So yeah, uh, that's, a, that's a quick aside on security. A lot of, lot of like web security is about programs that are so advanced that they just keep updating themselves to protect things better while other programs update themselves to make things worse. No one probably knows how these things work. It's a bit scary if you think about it too much. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you just trust the security. Uh, okay. But yeah, uh, as, as asked, where do you go for the information? I would probably try to figure out who's the, the major distributor of this spine. Um, and then I would, I'm probably not going to get any information if I just walk into a, a retailer of that spine and, and ask like, who, <laughs> why, why did you sell one to a major, major corpo? But maybe if I, would I be able to hack their 
customer database or client database somehow. Um, Didn't we at some point back when we asked about his uh, Mr. Star's um, cybernetics and things when this spine thing uh, came out, didn't we ask for his medical records and things about his general info about his cybernetics? Doesn't that also include a record of how long, at least the corporate things he had on this, this spine? Yeah, now that you're looking at those, it's clear that they're fake. <laughs> Okay, so it doesn't like, tell us anything. Okay. Everything just ends mystli- mystically 15 years ago. So that's... Okay, yeah. yeah. The, the, that's a dead Isn't end. born first, first of first 1970 <laughs> or something. Yeah, yeah, some, something like that. The, the, like, there's some info, but it's like, now that you know to look at it, it's like, this is fake. And probably someone who has looked at this has said mm. that, okay, this is fake, but we don't care because it's so obviously yeah. fake. Uh, but yeah, no, but... Uh, so, um, getting... getting Basically, client information as to where he got it, when, and any kind of indication as to why, why that specific model. Is it, if it's recently, uh, or fairly recently, why has he gone for an older model? Or was it the thing of the time? Yeah. And what's special about it? Um, I'd say that the spine is such a niche thing that there are people who are like enthusiasts. You know of them because they've contacted you a couple of times and like <laughs> uh, asked you about how, how your spine is feeling and, and like really creepy stuff. But uh these people have a lot of information and and yeah, give me a, a. This is again a clear situation. There is no danger here, uh, and you were prepared. Uh, so three D twelve yes. and take the middle one. All right. Mm, ten. Ten. That's an overreaction. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's a rabbit hole. <laughs> like. Ooh. Um. Uh, with an overreaction on a, on a clear, uh, the situation is now standard. That's that's the like mechanical cost. So this this avenue will will result in someone uh, taking attention, or, or actually someone has taken attention what you're what you're looking for, and um, you you quickly find out that the model has been discontinued because it has some sig- significant flaws in it. Uh, like, uh, it over-interfaces with the person. Uh, this is actually some- something you know, it stores, like, if something would happen to you, it would store everything about you in it. It sort of builds a model of who you are and, and like, allows you to access things that like it, it it is overworking it is uh, like and it was it was one of those early attempts in spinal uh cybernetics that don't have these more typical <laughs> of, of the times these uh, subscription things and anything it's it's very self-contained uh it can technically run uh, for hundred years without breaking, uh, and like, yeah, it's 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 an old model, but it's a damn good one, uh, and like there are not that many ones left because, as I said, it can't be like if something happens to it, it can't be put back. Uh, like you can you can install it only once which makes it a very very weird cybernetic you, you can't take it out and put it back again uh it it ruins like taking it out ruins the connection it it keeps the data but it won't won't bond again with even the same person and the charging is, station was super bul- bulky i remember uh, no, the charging station was... for Nova was was quite nice. The, the one for uh, oh. uh, Sebastian was bulky. <laughs> 
Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah. The the charging station for who was bulky? Uh, Sebastian, my partner. Yeah. Who? My partner. Sebastian. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, Sebastian. Okay, <laughs> yeah. right. Yeah, you yeah. said the same times. Okay, right, yeah. right. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, um, I guess. I had a thought. I lost it now. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll keep on talking if, if no one. Uh, yeah. So, um, basically, I'm I'm wondering if a, a corpo on that level is he either that old that he got it when it was new, or did he purposefully get an old model? Is I mean, I mean, Mister Kirvas is old, yeah, and he knows Lauri, so. Based on that, we can probably assume Mikhail slash Lauri is old as well. And he uses that filter constantly. Okay. And is so, there any way yeah. to access the data from the spine without removing it? No. Okay. So I was wondering if it, if, if it might be sort of some kind of inside job uh, agreement between Michael Starr and someone else that he purposefully got a... Um, a spine that isn't quite secure, and then that's like an alibi for him. But if it can't be accessed without removing it, then that kind of <laughs> yeah. that blows that theory but, out but of the water. Some 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 small kind of data was a possible to get from it because that was how you Nova ended up with Mr. Star's behavior and yeah, patterns. It has, but that's it has, like it, a surface level data yeah, that can be extracted. Running, yeah, it it has okay. uh, programs running in it, but uh, basically. There's like the whole personality construct of of uh, Nova, for example, is in his spine. Oh damn! So, okay, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that that can't be copied or extracted or anything. Um, you had an overreaction. Um, Probably I, digging into some black market stuff on the dark web and so on. <laughs> yeah, contacts. I'm. I'm thinking that. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm just going to give you that one last tick. I don't. I don't want to be like stingy about it. Uh, this. Uh, these spines are meant to be like. The original idea is to have an interface, a socket in the spine to control various uh, like military machines and other old technology. It basically, you don't have it. You, you <laughs> like it, it would have, it's somewhere under your skin. It's the socket is there, uh, but these are spines that interface with old tech stuff like Web inf infrastructure, like a main line. Ooh. If you want to get an access point to directly to the main line, this would be one. Yeah, it looks like Mr. Star might have the alternate version of the model, which has some military functionality and then can act as a act as a an access point to the main line. Um, oh wow! Yeah, it'll probably that's be like, definitely like, motive yeah. too. Probably like if someone would access a main line with it, it would burn them out in a two or three hours tops. But still having having full access, basically admin access to uh, well the net for a couple of hours would be bad. So would they be able to use Mr. Star as kind of just a, <laughs> a way to access the net and then burn him out? Uh, probably, like like it sounds like science fiction, but these lynxes are are borderline insane when it comes to that. They're yeah. just yeah. like. But considering that, why there must be something? Oh wait, you said he had a probably a military variation of the model because otherwise. If any spine or any person with the spine would do, then you'd be picked out mm. at some point to yeah. become this um, uh, short-lived connector. Mm. So okay, yeah, yeah, that's that's why they they want him. Yep. Yeah.
And there was some kind of uh, model number thing at the end that identified that he might have uh, the, 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 the different variation? Yeah. Or could I find that information? Okay. Yep. With an overreaction, yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and yeah, you can actually backtrack that to an installation uh, some 70 years ago. No names, but oh. like the installation date is 70 years ago. All right, and this uh, the spine would have been seven. on the market then. Even then, it's a hundred year old spine. It, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's a seven, like it's a sixty five year old spine. <laughs> it's one of okay. the first installed ones. Okay. All yeah. oh, right. Sorry, it was a uh, could operate for a yeah, hundred years. Could operate yeah, for so hundred years. Uh, looks, yeah, looks like there's a quite a few decades old. Um, well, Mister Star, <laughs> he keeps uh, keeps his skin in con good condition, I suppose. But uh, I guess this could be old. a good point to inform Mister about what the main threat vector have been and why. Yep, you're probably right. Yeah. Uh, uh. You make a call. Not a single upgrade in 70 years. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's some old tech. <laughs> That's very old. You think he'd buy a new one every year? Yeah. The screen comes to life with the smiling image of uh, Mikael Star. Hello. How are you? The filter yeah, is. Yeah, so perfect. the thing is, we kind of figured out uh, why. Uh, probably they were after your spine. Um, we also kind of heard you. You, you know, there is a fight out in the by the main line, cops and gangers and what. Yes, I've, I've heard of it. Uh, we kind of created that distraction to keep that place distracted and contained uh, for the while. Um, as a sidetrack, but the main thing is they probably want you and your spine to, as it has the possibility to tap into the main line and just go main access on the city kind of potential oh. uh, when we looked at the things and we found those you know the fake dead and things and it kind of like then we understood better the threat factors on 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 things we also understand that you also of course had the fake things to protect yourself but it's it's those things that we um f found out when we did the analysis from uh, threat vectors against you. Oh, you you yeah, understand yeah. it, of course. Oh, of course, of course. Uh, and you all receive an NDA to uh, sign about his real identity, like mm -hmm. instantly. <laughs> I, I just signed it uh -huh. straight away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, wonderful. Uh, and uh, he considers for a moment. Uh, is the threat credible? Is is this something I should be worried about? Yeah, this this is credible. Like the situation in the mainline thing is that we, we had info about the Lynx gang having uh, uh, targeting the mainline, but also they had doings with uh, uh, Mr. Feet, who was the informant who had sent uh, the one of the hits against you. So there were connections between these uh, uh, people of interest. Uh, and and I... then there was... Um, I guess you could explain the or the other kind of threat thing that was kind of going on or is that kind of a distraction point at, at this point I was only going you to know the, the remind, and the daughter thing remind uh, Mr. Star that uh, about the credibility of the threat do you remember that we did barely um, thwart the attempt to blow up your vehicle with a missile uh, rather recently yeah. and this seems to be the same the same goal of stealing your spine so um, I would I would take this very seriously and every caution available this sounds sounds like you have um, how should I put it uh, found what the computer said that was was the issue um, 
Is this something you can handle by yourself or should I contact someone else? Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll like, never say there's backup. <laughs> backup? What, what do you mean, like, deal? Do you mean going and taking out the Lynx gang or something? Because that's yeah, not yeah, a that, that would be nice if, if you could uh, kill them all. Well, I mean, um, we already do. put the kind of pinned the cops against Lynx, so they are fighting each other, but I guess we could. Uh, uh, go there and keep an eye to not uh, okay yeah that's yeah uh. just ju just to remind everyone that now everyone has military training in yeah yeah this mm. group. uh yeah oh right, so back right, up yeah, I, I... <laughs> yes i think i think with the links is probably back up okay uh... back up, but i mean it's, it's it's prudent to take them out i think yeah Sounds sounds like a plan. Nova, how many men do you need? Oh, um, how many would I need in this kind of situation? Would it be like a squad of uh, a dozen or uh, prob is probably that too much? Uh, half a dozen men would do? Half a dozen. Since okay. those are e even if they're paramilitary, they're still just like gangers. It's not yeah. a trained squad. So I'd say about six or so security forces should do the job. That's good. Uh, mark one expense, Nova. All right. <laughs> That's a very cheap arm. Yeah, yeah, humans. It's like, cheap. They're yeah, humans. It's like <laughs> marking off one X for a <laughs> flashbang. is like, ah, half, half, yeah. uh, half a squad, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Expendable. <laughs> Expendable, indeed. <laughs> yeah. I, well, when do you need them? I look to the others. As, as plan? an aside, uh, the attack on Mr. Kirves is happening in, in like a couple of hours. Uh, the situation is contained, so there is no press, like nothing is happening right now. Just. I suppose we could make our move as soon as possible. What do you think? Ask the others. Yeah. So yeah, we're yeah. we're ignoring the Kirve situation because that wasn't like technically important or yeah that's that's up to you. Well, I, mean, I mean, a couple I mean, more men for this bit and then I, more over yeah. there. I mean, I would prioritize our current employer over an ex-employer that we really don't have. A, connection yeah yeah, with yeah at that's, the moment. that's what i thought um, i was just and i'm double checking that we're essentially dropping that and but uh requiem what did you say couple here couple there I, I, I mean i'm not i'm not a military person but i mean we could send a couple here and send the rest there but i i don't do i don't do army tactics i never even like those games so i'll just well, kind of not making it. piggybacking off what Requiem just said, uh, would it be possible, Mr. Star, to allocate maybe, let's say, three to four additional troops um, to Mr. Gatorbess? We So we would keep the six, but uh, maybe just a, a few, a handful, three or so. There is a small moment when the uh, filter freezes. Clearly, Mr. Mr. Star is is thinking something and and doesn't want the expressions to show. So the filter mm -hmm. just shows the same image. Um, no, I think Mr. Kirves will be fine. I mean, yeah, awesome. he has his own security at the land. I think we didn't we even tell him about this. No, no, no. Okay, we okay. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, of course, Mr. Star. Uh, so I'll be sending a few people your way. Uh, they'll arrive in a moment. Is there anything else? Uh, I, I, I got you your autograph. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> when the people get there, hop on their car and come here. I want that now. <laughs> okay, I, I, I will do that. Wonderful. That's that's well, priority number one. 
and the phone call closes. Why does he want the book so bad? And did he say he wants you to personally bring it? Yes, he did. That's does strange. he want the uh, signature? Was it a specific book oh or goodness. was it a random book? It's he a signed? specific book. Um, yeah, it's it's, it's uh, Mr. Kirvis's memoirs. <laughs> And no, no, not... I mean special. Like, did he? he did he? Um, no, it's it's just one of the books. <laughs> no. One, one from the pile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I. It's not a like <laughs> no. hidden uh, hidden message in the it's, ink it's or something one of the... that sounds like very <laughs> unnecessarily sketchy. It's I, one or... of the books of all time. Requiem's gonna look at the signature again. Just, just, just give it another glance. See what it says, or if it's a really good. Take it a um, let, let me take a look. Is is yeah. there like a micro print and yeah? As, as how, how does it? I, I was is about it, to say is, your is this eyes a forging an identity situation? What's happening? Uh, there is uh, like very fine indentations, like a dotted note written in the signature. Mister Kirves is pretty much machine. Uh, so mm -hmm. he's like he's Post writing code. writing a signature is he's able to write a dotted message. You have no idea what the code means, uh, but there's a message there. It's something. Okay. Well, yeah, I now understand why it's high priority. Okay, let's go. Um, this is interesting. Is it possible? Possible to try. Um, I kind of wanna. Oh, I'm so annoyed that my stress is so high. Um, we could we could to... run the 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 common dechiffering things, and of course the one where you use the book itself as the key to unlock the message. That's one of those, I think, still uncrackable type of codes. If you don't know what book you have as the source, it's impossible to crack. That could be one of those, but on another hand, who knows? I'm I'm, um, I'm not a hacking type. I'm I just know of these old old style Caesar yeah. ship cipher. You have, to, you, you have the really old it. cool ones. Yeah, you, you have to roll for it. Oh god, I really want to know what the message says. He wants it urgently. It's obviously yes. important. Can I help with it? Or? Yeah, you you can help in the roll. Yeah. Um, let's let's go. Go go hard or go home. Yeah, uh, let's yeah. see. Um, I don't see there being a threat of violence present. Is the book can explode. Yeah, I, I don't think there's that sort of a fail safe. Um, it's a long message, um, okay. but clear and you're still uh, prepared. So with Requiem, uh, with, with Nova helping, that takes you to 3d12 and, and take the middle. Take the middle, come on. The middle one is 10. Well, that's an overreaction. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. I'd say that, uh, well, the situation is now standard. Uh, and the reason it is standard is that um, the um, you manage to crack the code. Um, mm -hmm. You don't manage to do it like before the soldiers get here and you're told to get in the car and and like start going back. So you you solve it on the way back. Okay, yeah. And like you, you get it just before arriving. Are you going alone or is Bravo coming with you? Because Nova is staying coming behind. with coming with. Yep. Yeah. So the two of you are in a flying car heading back to the like mm -hmm. Murha headquarters. Uh, and you get it just as the car lands and, and the doors open. And it's basically an order to execute uh, like three people you don't know of. 
Okay. A kill order. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, are there names? Yes. Are there names? Or names. Are there like code yeah, names? Yeah, names. Like, um, names, okay. Uh, and if you. If, I'd say with an overreaction, you, you sort of recognize at least one of them. Uh, okay. They're okay. corporates uh, basically working for Star. So they're people much like you. Okay. Mm-hmm. But, but in a bit higher position, just like. Okay, yeah. Uh, not, not on his level, not but on his somewhere level. between us and Mr. Star. Yeah, yeah. Okay. because you're basically working working for a high-level executive. Some of his like mm. more influential managers are this list, but you okay, know so one of them. Thinning out the middle management. Yes. Yep. Yep. Tech layoffs. Yes, mm. layoffs. <laughs> <laughs> so do you take the book? Yeah, I mean it's. Oh, yeah, we have to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, okay. we... Ne- never anything is is <laughs> like you, you have to. You you're just ordered I, to. Yeah. I I make note of the names, so I would recognize them again. Yep. If some of the information would come. When I've but seen no, something, I'm... it's stored in me forever. Yeah. Just... Good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you walk in. Uh, and Mikael is there to greet you. Hello! Uh, the filter looks like... Bravo, you can't tell it from reality. It, it looks so real. Uh, Requiem, it looks like a filter, but like a very good one. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hello, sir. Um, Hello! Do you book? have the book? Yes. Thank yeah. you. Uh, did everything go well? So far? Wonderful. Nothing, yep. nothing, nothing's happened since we spoke. Good, good. Uh, well, that'll be all. And he walks away. You're, you're standing okay, in, in the like, corporate building hallway, like looking, okay, that was that. <sighs> mm-hmm. Let's head back and, and 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 think about how we're gonna use this. Yep. New, new folks too. Yeah. Guess uh, we get back in a car. Yeah, back back in the car and and fly back. Uh, Nova. Are there how? Nova. Uh, how the, many streams of the? Yeah. How many streams of the firefight? Uh, their mainline thing is going. Are there any big ones or nope? Uh, like the initial assault has ended, so it's it's like people taking pot shots at each other and and hold hold down in in positions. So nothing. It's it's not something that keeps the attention of of people. Nothing exciting okay. is happening. Uh, is there like uh, I assume Murho has subscription to the police radio or something that we can tap into? for like semi public information of what's yeah. the situation. Yeah. We want some kind of idea what before we touch the ground there for where we are needed and, and that kind of thing. Yeah. About that, while those two have been been flying around the city uh with with a car, you are you are face to face with a group of a uh, eight well-trained soldiers waiting for commands. Sir? All right. Well, uh, you've been briefed on the Lynx gang, I suppose? Yes, uh, they seem to be quite... Um, well, they're more interested in matters of the net than... Well, what we do. Should be right. easy. We're not looking at... Yeah, we're not looking at a ton of uh, armed resistance, but be aware that obviously these types can always pull a fast one and uh, surprise you when you're not looking. So, eyes and ears, right? Eyes and ears. Yes, sir. Uh, right. From what I Let's understand, there's heavy, heavy weaponry, weaponry there. So, if I might just suggest some 
heavier defenses for ourselves rather than just going gun gun ho. Uh, Absolutely. Of course, going gun ho would probably be better for a stream. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm. Uh, what, what does that? What would I um, like? What would that mean to me? Are they like thinking of snipers and so on, sort of uh, well, long distance stuff, or uh, they're they're probably going to do do some very controlled move slowly, take out people precisely kind of thing that takes forever and is very efficient but slow. Yeah, well, I would counter that with, well, actually, you see, Mr. Star wants this done as quickly as possible, so. Um, I think we should just do a a blitz type operation. We just hit them hard. We hit them fast. Um, we take names and kick ass. Uh, you can see from the body language and and like the mic micro expressions on his face that he doesn't like this one bit. But he's a sir, yes sir. Blitz, it is. Uh, are we going in now? Yeah, I think we should uh, prepare as uh, prepare to move as soon as possible. Are your uh, is he is he kind of like a uh, is he in command of the other men or is it just? I think he's more like he's not in command, but he's the senior. So okay, yeah. So everyone else ready? Sir, yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Yes. All right, let, let's move out. Uh, as the two of you are flying back. Uh, the streams come to life. Most prominently, Nova's stream comes to life. Uh, there is a development in the situation with the Lynxes. Uh, Murha troops are closing in. So you are, you are, you two are flying in the wrong direction. Oh. Okay, we we want to. Turn around. Why, why did you go and start before us? I mean, this. I think we. Should... I mean. Yeah, I, double I, speed. I... I was assuming he would have waited for my uh, expanded reconnaissance abilities to get a better military advantage, but I guess not. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's, uh, uh, um, she's sitting there looking really awkward. Like I don't, I don't know anything about the military, <laughs> but she's letting Bravo rant. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you are also seeing the, as as Nova's dream goes live. Uh, like viewers start just like mm -hmm. <laughs> I assume that Requiem has sort of a some sort of notification yeah. going on just just yeah. out of interest. And yeah, she also to Bravo as a. She's not saying it, but the subtext is because of this. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, uh, it's really easy, like blitzing there. It's not. These are not professionals. You are professionals. Uh, they have a lot of equipment, mm. so it's dangerous. So I'd love for Nova to give me a roll. This is a situation that is nafu. This is where the guns are mm -hmm. out. This is mm -hmm. like do or die. So oh. how does the operation go? Uh, you are hurt. I'm prepared. You're, you're prepared, but you're also hurt. Yes. So uh, 4d12, give me the two middle ones. I'll choose. Eight and ten. Eight and ten. Those are both overreactions. Uh, do you want to use uh, equipment to bring it down to a normal success, or are you fine with overreaction? Um, I would. Yeah, I mean, I'd probably be fine with an overreaction if it's if it's something that that uh, is interesting for the viewers. Oh yes. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm just imagining oh, oh, oh. me so, just before we go in, um, storm the place, almost like one of those like prank YouTubers or someone who's like, they have no idea what. Gonna... <laughs> so that kind of thing. <laughs> so today we're gonna hit some lynxes and come along with me, and then just like transition to a gun cam. 
yeah. and then lead the others in? Um, I'd say, well, first of all, your state is now one higher because this is an overreaction, you're alert. That doesn't really matter because this this ends this thing, but still, you're, you're alert. Uh, you get two stress. And right. <laughs> um, uh, I'm letting you have the time of your life. Uh, the action succeeds, but there's an in-fiction complication to your overreaction. Uh, and I'm I'm going to give you a choice. Either it's you who takes the hit, or it's like most of your compatriots. Like either you go down, or a lot of them go down. Oh, that's an interesting one. I'm wondering if it would be more interesting in in terms of Sebastian and so on if I take the hit. I think both both are interesting in in regards yeah, to Sebastian yeah. because it's either you you again being hurt or it's you letting other people get hurt. Both are things that yeah. Sebastian's are uh, Sebastian are isn't gonna like. Oh yeah, would I know if this is going to be fatal? Uh, well, as a player, you know this won't be fatal. Okay, this yeah, is yeah, just yeah. just you getting shut down. <laughs> mm. Actually, well, in yeah. that case, in that case, I'd probably go for the the squad being eliminated. And maybe I'm just uh, so much more in the zone and my kind of recklessness and carelessness has led them to do something they really don't want to do, um, and which wasn't the tactically sound option. Yeah. Also, you you probably spent some time just getting into a good position to film. Yeah. So you, you're not in the main group and the main group takes hits and are down, down like half of them go down in this uh, well, it's it's really a situation normal, all beeped up. Uh, but the lynxes, they don't stand a chance. Like, they've already been beaten by the police, and now they're faced with heavily armed and armored murha, like, real military people. So it's a matter of just mowing them down and, and getting a few casualties while doing it. Uh, as the smoke clears and the stream ends, uh, you can see that multiple uh, units of like med med techs are coming. Uh, medics, medics arriving, combat medics, not in a helicopter because this is an underground location, but like uh, the distinct red and blue lights are flickering in the the stream as it goes dead and yeah uh that's our mission uh let's go through some bookkeeping and then transition to what's going on with our friends or actually let's let's do it the other way around we don't we don't have all day so it's the First of all, the news of this firefight are completely ir irrelevant in the big picture. The big news item is that there has been an attack on a former Murha, Murha executive, uh, Mr. Mr. Kirves, at the expo uh, at the waterfront, and uh, the perpetrator has been neutralized. Uh, but but Mr. Mr. Kirves has had to flee and uh, has made some statements about uh, how the current situation has led to this awful unlawfulness and and how things were so much better before and how he's looking at at the corporations running Dawn City to put an end to this crime uh, that is going on and, and if nothing else he'll he'll volunteer to help with this um, that's that's the big news item because corporate big wigs are all always more interesting than than just uh, normal firefights unless you're an enthusiast which means that you'll be looking at the replays of Nova's stream over and over again. 
Um, yeah. Debriefing is tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. sharp, at the regular uh, briefing room. What do you want to do tonight? Are there any other leads to follow tonight, or no? Nope. Is that it? That's nope. it. Okay. Death and destruction. Check out the things, Mister. Check out what my cousin had brought brought to me <laughs> to my little cupboard yeah. under the stairs. Yeah. Uh, you go home. Uh, the house is full of sound and life. Uh, people are talking about things that matter, like what's for dinner and who who has a crush on who, like there is this gossiping ring going around uh, about who's met who and what's been going on. Lots and lots of sound. Lots and lots of warmth. Uh, you are greeted with a stew as you, you enter, enter the house. There's this smell of, of some wonderful, wonderful... Uh, root vegetable soup going on and, and you walk to your little cupboard and, and Brick has left you a small envelope and and it has like some it it actually has um catalogue like years and years old catalog of uh like watches, wrist watches, and and uh, just a note saying, "Guess what we found?" And and they look really nice. The catalog. Mm. For, for a moment, he, he looks at the catalog and, and his his cupboard, and then he looks to the people around, and he takes the book and, and joins, sits sits into a corner of, of one of the tables to mingle with the others and, and read a book and, and just enjoy uh, that there is the, the awake more or less at the same time for the first time in a good while. It's been yeah. so much running past each other. And and this this is the nice nice change of pace. Yeah, the table is just... full. It's it's really really a nice pause. Requiem, what you gonna do? She wants to go home and send a message to Foxman. She's she's worried. Is he okay? Um. You get a reply that, uh, well, it's it's basically the same reply that you got when Nova was in surgery. Okay. Uh, can I? So he's in surgery. He's in surgery. He's probably uh, sort of sort of available the same way as Nova was. Okay. Yeah, she'll she'll uh, try and call him. Yep. Connect. Uh, it's a white room, and and Foxman is is there in in his fox looking um, persona, uh, just mm -hmm. like checking his emails and and like hi. Are you badly hurt? I don't know. I think not. I think it was nothing that will hurt the game. And and I got the debt paid off, so I think as long as I don't have to be running anytime soon, yeah, I'm I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be fine. 
he sounds a bit weird probably the yeah. meds or something there's something off about him but like, mm -hmm. at least he's he's alive you're an idiot i know Next. i know but like come and and he suddenly he looks and feels more like himself and and he just opens mm -hmm. up like calculations and diagrams and and mm. like patterns and what i was thinking if i got like enough flux to and and he starts explaining why he did did, uh, did this and he's an idiot he's a total idiot he's like fallen for yeah. the scam promise me you won't get just promise me we won't be here again that you won't do this again this moment of silence and then yeah okay I don't really like this. I mean, it. I, I, I could feel kind of nauseous and, and funny. Yeah. So yeah, I don't. Yeah, let's let's just, just stick to the game. Yeah. Next time, if you need money, just message me. Okay. He looks down. Money is, as always, an uncomfortable uncom subject. It's not something that anyone besides you really has. Mm. Just yeah, I'll, I'll remember that. So I'm glad you're. I'm glad you're okay. Uh, thanks. Uh, so if I get out of surgery, are you up for some gaming later tonight? Sure. Good, since I think I'm gonna need that. <laughs> sure. Thanks. Uh, Nova. So. You are bombarded with messages from fans. You are getting rebroadcast on stations that actually give you some money back from rebroadcasts. It's like, this is insane. Yeah, I'm looking for any potential sp sponsorships, partnership deals, so on. Oh, there, there, there are those, yeah. Celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> there, there are those, like, uh, they all seem to be with the undertone that if you keep this sort of streams going, then we could move on with this sponsorship type of. Mm. Some are are more reasonable. Some, well, most are the sort of like, well, if if we get sponsor you, you'll get exposure from us, and and then you can promote mm. it. Like <laughs> normally, you would you you would have taken those, like getting. Re rebroadcast is something that is worth something, but not now. Now you are for once in a place where you can actually get something from this. Right. I'm looking for the most lucrative offer, and then I kind of hover above, uh, like hover my finger above it not quite accepting i want to discuss this with sebastian first yeah that's a good question since there are good thoughts in sebastian's calling all right i pick up hello hey hey how's it going um what are you doing watching the stream or rebroadcast of it Oh, hey, that's, I mean, that's the work stuff. You don't need to, you know, watch that. Yeah, this, like, that's a lot of people. Yeah, I mean, it was a mission that we were assigned, so I didn't really have that much uh, leeway in terms of how it was handled. 
Yeah. I figured we we need the cash and it was going to happen anyway, so we might as well make the most of it. Yeah. Um, you have always said that you are good at compartmentalizing, like putting things in boxes. And yeah. I've sort of... I've always assumed that a part of this deal is that I don't have to see what you do. Yeah, you're right. And that's why I like that's why I didn't want you to watch it. It's Yeah. I'm going to sleep on it. And I'll call you back. But All right. I think I didn't want to see this. I did like I didn't like what I saw. Would would you be willing to consider just if we if we uh agree that you won't get exposed to this in the future. Look, Cobra, I love you. But I'll call you in the morning. All right. I just wanted to tell you that I love you. Just know this. All right. Me too. Are you coming home? Uh, yeah, I was going. I was just going to get a, a sports drink or something on the way, but yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm I'm going to bed. Don't wake me up. We'll talk in the morning. Gotcha. Okay. Thanks. I hope you know I I care about you. I I'm I don't want to do anything that jeopardizes us again. Okay, I'll I'll hold you on that. Okay. Good Bye. night. I'll try to come in quietly. Yeah. Night. Your hand is still hovering on the sponsorship deal. Yeah. Um, I think we'll leave it at that. <laughs> cliffhanger. <laughs> A cliffhanger. And, dun, dun, dun. Yeah, and uh, well, our, our, that was our finale. So, yeah. Uh, thank you, everyone, for, for watching. We'll... we'll See if we continue after the summer. It's getting too hot to continue streaming, so we're we're not going to going to. Uh, we we're going to at least take a break and and see what happens in the fall. But as as of as of now, this has been the conclusion of of this particular Cyberpunk is Dead uh, tale, and we'll we'll see where we go. Um, this is a bit out of the blue for the players, so I'm sorry about, about springing this on you mid-recording, but... Uh, uh, would you like to say a few words to our, our viewers about how you're, you're feeling about this particular moment, just sharing, sharing <laughs> <laughs> your thoughts, if anyone has any, any ideas? Uh, I, I can start, since I've, I've had a blast for the past eight uh, well, actually, nine episodes because we missed missed one uh, recording. But the past nine episodes, I've had fun with these people. Uh, I've I've had fun with these characters, and uh, I I just want to thank everyone one at the table for being a part of this. Uh, these are horrible stories about uh, people who are actually actually normal people in horrible situations. Uh, and yeah, I, I really have enjoyed this. Thank you. Uh, anyone else want to say anything? I, I've liked my time with, with this. Uh, I've, I enjoyed how uh, some of the parts of the story and uh, the setting was something you came up with, but then things expanded and things from the... Uh, character 
character backgrounds and ideas got incorporated into the setting and and things like that the, some some uh some of the things were fleshed out more as as time progressed and 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 gave new new perspectives one of the main uh interesting things like from uh thinking about cyberpunk in general that I took away from this was is like the classic cyberpunk is oh cyberware where is your humanity blah 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 whatever this is like the real take is cyberpunk is when subscriptions for everything <laughs> like in, including your spine and, and organs and things so yeah that's the real cyberpunk dystopic yeah, that's, that's... part but yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've, I've had a great time thank you <laughs> yep. Um, I've had an absolute blast and I'm really going to miss Requiem. I, uh, I've grown very attached to her and our entire group, um, all the characters, and hopefully I get to play her again. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this has been surprising and fun, even with all the dark themes. Good. <laughs> thank you for having me. Thanks. All right. First off, I want to thank Petri for just running this game because you're once again fantastic GM, and this was a very, very fun game with tight pacing, um, interesting developments, and I think it was nice that we that there were a lot of stakes, but but having stakes didn't mean that we poke at everything with a ten foot pole, not trying to die, but rather that we had the freedom to jump in and make stupid decisions or make rash decisions or uh, make calculated decisions so it was very kind of narrative driven in that in that sense which i liked and i obviously liked the fact that uh, that my story ended on um just from a very selfish per, uh, perspective that it ended on a note that seems at the same time like it's final and also like sequel bait so it's kind of like <laughs> it feels like a, a fate yeah. to black situation yeah, but there's it that, was good that, the end Different question mark <laughs> mm. yeah but yeah uh thank you everyone uh once again and and we'll see you in in some form at some point life life tends to be like that so let's see if i can find the button that says ending title yeah there we go bye